More about a story first told you about last night on Eyewitness News. A Rhode Island man wounded during a shootout in the state of Maine. Now it appears the gunman also has ties to the Ocean State. We're looking into the criminal background of that man, identified now as Norman Strobel. Eyewitness News reporter Brian Econo live in our newsroom with those new developments. Well, good morning. I've been working today to learn more about Norman Strobel, who was shot and killed by sheriff's deputies in Maine over the weekend. In fact, I've been looking through court documents here in Rhode Island this morning. He had several charges from Warwick dating back to the mid 80s, including felony assault, attempted breaking and entering conspiracy, also obstructing a police officer. I want to show you the two scenes under investigation in Maine right now. This is Casco and Naples. These are about 30 miles from the city of Portland. In fact, the car right here at this camp has Rhode Island license plates on it. It was at this mobile home, however, where he was shot and killed in a shootout with deputies. Here's what we are learning overnight. Deputies were looking for Strobel this weekend after a shooting at his ex-girlfriend's camp. Now his daughter's boyfriend is identified now as Jason Almeida. He's from Middletown here in Rhode Island. He was shot three times through a camp window there, but survived. He's recovering now. As police looked for Strobel, they found him at this mobile home. Police looked in the window and saw a man, however, that wasn't Strobel. They could see some blood on his face and thought that he was injured. So they made a rapid entry to go in and, and provide aid, and that's when they met an individual coming down the hallway, appeared out and started firing shots at them. That's when Strobel was killed in that shootout with deputies. The other man they saw was already dead at the scene when they went inside. His name has not been yet been released. Today we're working to learn more about Strobel's connections here to Rhode Island. In the newsroom, Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News.